Hey everybody, it's Christine, and today I have a fun DIY Thanksgiving table project that you can create using just a couple of supplies. I am using a feathers project pad from Paper House Productions. What this is, is a pad that looks like patterned paper, but it has sheet after sheet of feathers. And it has them in different patterns. Both sides of the papers are different, and so you can flip over a feather and get a different pattern. And it's just a really fun collection to use for a variety of craft projects from cards to scrapbook layouts to something like this like little home decor pieces so I am building a little turkey right now and I am using feathers that are kind of a turquoise color a reddish color and an orangish color and I am mixing up the patterns but I am trying to go in an order for color so I'm trying to stick with orange turquoise red orange turquoise red because I wanted to make sure I split everything up and things don't get too overwhelming I did go with a three color color scheme specifically for that reason I felt like I could mix up the patterns but if I just had three colors it wouldn't be to totally overwhelming now what you're seeing for the body of the turkey is I have a two inch circle and a three inch circle and those are just cut out of craft cardstock and the two inch one obviously is his head and the three inch one is his body now I am just going around right now and filling in his body and his space with feathers to create the feather part of the turkey. And you can see, I think if you know what I'm doing, you totally have an idea of, oh yeah, that totally makes sense. I see it exactly. Just a fun look. Now that I've got the feathers all laid out just how I want them, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some adhesive to the back of my circles. And I am going to secure those onto the feather part so that it all comes together to look like a turkey. Now I did pop up his head. I put a foam square underneath his head so that that part stuck out a little bit more. But then on the back side, it's kind of an ugly mess at this point. So what I did is went ahead and cut out two additional circles to line up with the original ones and that covers it up and makes it just look prettier on the other side. Now he is done but I want to go ahead and add some little details to it including making him be able to stand up. So what I did here is I just used a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll and I just cut off about an inch section of it and then I covered it with some cute washi tape and then I'm just going to secure it to the back of him with some adhesive dots and then he is done and ready to sit and be used as a placeholder or as just decor in the center of your uh, table. I did decide I wanted to go ahead and add a face onto him. You don't have to. I think you can leave it alone and still have it look really cute too. But I decided to use some brown enamel dots for his eyes and then this orange enamel shape for his beak. There's a variety of approaches you could take to that, whether it's googly eyes or drawing it with a marker or whatever. This is what I had on hand and I liked how it coordinated with the feathers, so I felt like it was a good option for me. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out that roll from the toilet paper or from paper towel again, and I'm gonna use the same washi tape, which this is some really cute plaid washi tape from Paper House Productions, and I am gonna just add a couple rows of it onto a roll and just circle the whole thing and then circle it again. Once I've circled the whole thing with the washi tape, I'm just gonna use an adhesive dot and add a feather to it. And then I'll have some really cute coordinating napkin rings. So just a really easy way to use some supplies that you have on hand and add some personal touches to your Thanksgiving table. Thank you so much for being here today. I will link you up to all the supplies down below and have a happy Thanksgiving.